Gas prices this week hit a 10-month high, averaging more than $4 a gallon in 11 states. Not only does that mean you'll pay more at the pump, you can expect to pay more for other goods as well. Our Ethan Kibbe joins us now after looking into the ripple effects of rising gas prices. Ethan, where else will shoppers fill this major pinch? Uh, Mike, basically everywhere. That's more or less it, but you will definitely notice it at the grocery store where prices had finally started to settle coming out of the pandemic, only to now be shaken up once more. It just really uh, makes me feel angry. Angela Manier is fed up. With inflation still high and gas prices rising, she's seeing her budget stretched thinner and thinner. But eggs came down. <laughs> But everything else, yeah, is going up. Amarico Rocco is seeing the jump, too. He runs Erie County Farms, and after 40 years in the grocery business, he knows when gas prices rise, food costs do, too. Two days ago on the way home, I see $3.99, $4 a gallon already, and it started tickling down, and I started to realize if gas is going up, everything else is going to go up. That puts Rocco in a bind. The store offers some of the lowest local prices on meat, but to keep those prices down, he has to cut into his margins, and those just keep shrinking. Your brokers start charging you a shipping fee for delivery, you know, a $15, $20 uh, fuel charge. Like the rest of us, he watches pump prices with a growing sense of unease. Even a few cents there can mean hundreds of dollars to him. It has a triple effect on everything. I mean, it's just it, that there's no end in sight right now. Mike, the shopper we talked to there, Angela Manier, actually lives in New York State, but she comes here to shop just because it's cheaper at somewhere like Erie County Farms. She'll also go buy clothes here because of the lack of sales tax in Pennsylvania. So consumers out there looking for deals, fuel prices as those go up, everything else you buy is going to get more expensive too. Ethan Kippy, Erie News Now.